Hey everyone. It's been a long time since my last upload. I was busy figuring out what to upload next. So based on the comments on my last video, I've been trying to make trigger ball for other games, mostly Call of Duty. And it has been a headache since. Because I was unable to find any address for shoot button and this inspired me for doing it that way. <clears throat> so if you haven't watched my previous video then go watch it for a very basic understanding of doing it. It's not necessary but um, as I've shown how to find the changing cross here address in the last video so I'll not be redoing it in this video. So if you haven't watched then go watch it first. Also the way I used to make trigger board in the last video cannot be applied on every game. It varies from game to game whether you can find the shoot button address or not but in this approach the way i'm doing today we just need the crosshair address so just need that and after that we'll automate the mouse button press with the lua scripting language which is embedded in the cheat engine by default so this is kind of more of a programmable approach as I am too a beginner in programming so it took some digging around and uh, here I want to mention two people um, whom I got help first is Stephen Chapman who has a YouTube channel having tons of videos on game hacking uh, like if you wanna start learning cheat engine assembly or lua from scratch from a very beginner level then his channel is the ideal place to start or uh, and the second one is the MGRN player from cheat engine forums who helped me in cracking my code because it had a problem which I'll talk about later in the video you can find link to both in the description below also it's the first time I am narrating my video so I apologize for any inconvenience likewise not audible or understandable i'll try to improve next time and i do just to focus on what we are doing here rather than these so if you don't understand anything just ask in the comments and i'll try my best helping you out and now we shall start at first i'll be quickly recapping how to find the crosshair address so here I'll not go into the full process, it's just a recap. So this address which I'm adding is just for freezing my health. So a play won't die in the process. And now we'll do an unknown initial value scan. So we'll do it while the crosshair is white. So when it has finished doing the first scan, then we'll point it on the enemy and do a chained value scan. And then point it somewhere else and do uh, again chained value. Then run around a bit and do an unchained value scan this will filter out some results for finding the crosshair address we have to repeat it many times so keep doing this until you find the crosshair address so I skip this one now and directly show you the address I have found and what is the behavior of these kind of addresses if you have to filter them out yourselves so like the this one which I found has a value of 0 when the crosshair is white and 16 when it's red um, that is when we are pointing on the enemy so yeah you can see here 16 0 16 0 it's changing and we are pointing on the enemy and pointing somewhere else also i wanna show you something that we need static addresses 
and the static address looks something like this it's a module plus offset and it doesn't change on restarts it stays the same so if you can't find a static address then find a pointer to it but we need an address that doesn't change so now we start and this is to tell the jade engine to interpret the following code as lua code and yes we can use enable and disable inside the lua code and this i don't know what it does exactly but i have read somewhere it's technically correct to have it the script will work fine without it but we just write it and now we declare a variable which will store the address we have just found which is this address module plus offset and after that we will declare another variable which will be used to read the value from the first variable and that means from our address we have just found and then we'll set a while loop which will constantly check if the value is zero cross your value is zero and this is just to enter the loop and after that it keeps updating our variable and if the crosser value is 16 that means if we are pointed on the enemy then we will send a mouse event which will, uh, which will be a left button down and then there will be a slight delay of just 100 milliseconds between the two mouse events and the another one is the mouse up left mouse left button up after that we will end our if block and end while loop disable and that was it so what we are doing here is that it checks for the crosser value if it's zero then keep up uh, the loop will start and keep updating the variable and if it's 16 then it will send a key press of left button down and after 100 milliseconds left button up this simulates a key press which is left mouse button and here's the problem to it when we activate it slightly freezes the cheat engine and only work once so now is the time to use MGR's code so what he suggested was to use a thread which will be constantly running and until the thread is running the loop will also continue to run so we will declare a variable and set it equal to the function create native thread It will create a thread which will run its in its own space and thread on free uh, free on terminate we'll set it to false and this will stop from stop the thread from terminating itself and then the thread name which will set equal to this then we will declare the variable and for now we will not assign nothing to it and then the while loop uh, but the condition slightly changed while not 
while not sorry while not thread is terminated do the following and now it reads from our address which is this we have copied earlier so now comes our if block so if the value is 16 then again send our mouse events nothing's changed here and if block and while loop and end thread function now in the disable part check if the thread is in the active state then dot terminate will terminate on disabling the script then wait for terminating it and then destroy and set it equal to nil so that was it now this script will keep it continuously running and it will check if we are pointing on enemy then it will shoot automatically if we are not pointing then it will do nothing and now our trick about is ready so you can see it shoots automatically when we point on the enemy and for this we just need the crosshair value but it has to be static uh, most of our abilities have static addresses so you don't need to find a point but in any other game you might need to find the pointer to the value but if you have this then you can fit the address in this template which I'll upload and give a link in the description so you can download it and you can make your own trigger board so that was it for now thanks for watching please do like share comment and subscribe and do suggest me what to make the next video on so thanks again and goodbye for now so